Have you ever wondered if the people in your life are truly there for you, or just taking advantage of your kindness? It's like being at a crossroads, unsure which path leads to genuine connections. Well, you're not alone in this journey. Although unique to each of us, it's a shared experience navigating through a maze of relationships, trying to sort out the genuine from the pretentious. As Marcus Aurelius once reflected, it's essential to understand the nature of those we associate with. But why is this important, you might ask? Because you deserve relationships that uplift you, that bring out the best in you. It's not just about avoiding users, it's about attracting and nurturing bonds that are truly rewarding. This is about your personal growth and well-being. So, are you ready to transform how you perceive and navigate your relationships, moving towards more genuine and fulfilling connections? Let's dive into the heart of this matter. In this video, we're going to explore 15 revealing signs that someone might be using you. These aren't just random tips, they're carefully crafted insights based on understanding human behavior and emotions. From recognizing one-sided conversations to spotting when your generosity is being exploited, these pointers will empower you to see beyond the surface. 1. Diminishing Comments As we journey through life, diminishing comments are like hidden rocks in a stream, seemingly minor yet capable of tripping you up. Picture yourself sharing a personal achievement, brimming with pride and anticipation, only to be met with a sarcastic, that's all, or anyone could do that. The sting of such words can be profound, especially when they come from people whose opinions you value. These comments aren't merely casual remarks. They are subtle, insidious tools used by some to keep you in a perpetual state of self-doubt. Their intent is clear, to make you feel smaller so they can feel larger by comparison. Imagine confiding your dreams to a friend or family member, expecting support and encouragement, but instead receiving dismissive or belittling responses. These moments can be particularly disheartening, as they chip away at your confidence and make you question your aspirations. The impact of diminishing comments is cumulative, often leaving emotional scars that take time and effort to heal. The remarks may seem minor to others, but their repeated occurrence can weigh heavily on your sense of self-worth and motivation. From a stoic standpoint, these comments offer a unique opportunity for reflection and resilience. Stoicism teaches us not to suppress our emotions, but to understand and manage them. When faced with such remarks, take a moment to reflect on the stoic principle of focusing on what lies within your control. Your reaction to these comments is entirely within your power. By recognizing that these remarks reveal more about the speaker's insecurities than your worth, you can begin to reclaim your sense of self. It's their way of saying, I feel threatened by your success. And understanding this can help diminish the impact of their words. You have the choice to either give these words power over you, or to see them for what they truly are reflections of someone else's inner turmoil. Your response to diminishing comments should be one of equanimity and self-assurance. A stoic doesn't engage in petty battles of words. Instead, they stand firm in their self-worth and remain unshaken by others' attempts to belittle them. This steadfastness allows you to maintain your dignity and self-respect, despite the negativity directed your way. Surrounding yourself with positivity and people who genuinely support and uplift you is crucial. Seek out relationships that reinforce your value and encourage your growth. Life, as viewed through the stoic lens, is too precious to be dimmed by others' insecurities. Cultivate an environment where your achievements are celebrated and your dreams are nurtured. This supportive network will act as a buffer against the negativity and help you maintain your inner peace. In the pursuit of personal growth, your self-esteem is not a tool for others to undermine. It's your shield, your strength, unyielding to the whims of those who seek to use you for their gain. By nurturing a strong sense of self and resilience, you can protect yourself from the detrimental effects of diminishing comments. 
Recognize your accomplishments and dreams as valuable and worthy of respect, regardless of others' attempts to belittle them. Embrace the stoic principles of inner strength and self-control. When faced with diminishing comments, take a deep breath and remind yourself of your inherent worth. Let your actions speak louder than the words of those who seek to undermine you. Your consistent efforts and achievements will eventually speak for themselves, rendering any negative remarks insignificant in the grand scheme of your journey. Though seemingly minor, it has the potential to significantly impact your self-esteem and confidence. By adopting a stoic approach, you can manage your reactions, maintain your inner peace, and focus on your growth. Surround yourself with positivity and supportive relationships, and let your self-esteem serve as a shield against negativity. Your journey is too important to be derailed by the insecurities of others. The story of J.K. Rowling, the beloved author of the Harry Potter series, provides a powerful illustration of how diminishing comments can challenge one's self-worth, but also how resilience and self-belief can prevail. Her journey to becoming one of the most successful authors in history was not without its share of discouraging remarks and setbacks, making her story an inspiring example of overcoming negativity. In the early 1990s, J.K. Rowling was a single mother struggling to make ends meet. She wrote much of her first Harry Potter book in cafes while her infant daughter slept beside her. Despite her passion and dedication, her efforts were met with numerous rejections and dismissive feedback. Before finding a publisher, Rowling faced rejection from 12 different publishing houses. Many of these rejections were accompanied by comments that could have easily diminished her resolve. One publisher even advised her to get a day job because there was no money in children's books. Imagine the discouragement that must have come with each rejection letter, the sense of doubt creeping in with every diminishing comment. Friends and acquaintances may have questioned her choices, suggesting she focus on more realistic pursuits. The cumulative effect of these comments could have easily led her to abandon her dreams. Yet, Rowling's story is a testament to resilience. Instead of letting these remarks undermine her confidence, she held fast to her vision. A key moment of resilience can be found in Rowling's decision to persist despite the overwhelming rejections. She eventually found a small publisher, Bloomsbury, willing to take a chance on her manuscript. Even then, the initial print run was a mere 500 copies, reflecting the publisher's cautious optimism. However, Rowling's belief in her work never wavered. The rest, as they say, is history. The Harry Potter series went on to become a global phenomenon, selling over 500 million copies and being translated into over 80 languages. Rowling's journey didn't end with the publication of her books. As her fame grew, so did the scrutiny and criticism. Critics often dismissed her writing style as simplistic, with some labeling her success as a result of mere luck rather than talent. However, she continued to write and produce works that resonated with millions, proving that her initial success was no fluke. She also ventured into new genres under the pseudonym Robert Galbraith, further establishing her versatility as a writer. From a stoic perspective, Rowling's journey exemplifies the principles of resilience and focusing on what is within one's control. Despite the diminishing comments and rejections, she concentrated on her writing, the one thing she could control. Her response to negativity was to continue working towards her goals, illustrating the stoic idea that our reactions define us more than the actions of others. Her story is a powerful reminder that the opinions of others do not determine our worth or potential. Rowling's success also underscores the importance of surrounding oneself with supportive individuals. During her most challenging times, she had friends who believed in her talent and encouraged her to keep writing. This support system helped her maintain her focus and confidence despite the naysayers. In her case, the blend of inner strength and external support created a robust foundation that allowed her to thrive. In conclusion, 
J.K. Rowling's journey from a struggling single mother to a world-renowned author illustrates the profound impact of diminishing comments and the power of resilience. Her story is a vivid example of how maintaining self-belief and focusing on what we can control can help us overcome negativity and achieve our dreams. By adopting a stoic approach and surrounding ourselves with supportive people, we can protect our self-esteem and pursue our goals undeterred by the insecurities and doubts of others. 2. Broken Promises – The Reality of Words versus Actions Have you ever encountered individuals in your life who excel at spinning tales and making promises, yet when it comes time to deliver, they vanish like a mirage? These individuals are adept at creating illusions of commitment, weaving intricate narratives that temporarily satisfy expectations but ultimately fail to materialize into meaningful actions. It's akin to encountering a magician who dazzles with words but fails to perform the promised trick when the curtain rises. In real-life scenarios, the discrepancy between promises and actions can have profound implications. Consider corporate environments where ambitious promises are made during shareholder meetings or product launches, only to be followed by delays, setbacks, or outright failures in execution. For instance, a company may pledge groundbreaking innovations but struggle to deliver on their timelines, impacting investor confidence and market perception. The illusion of investment extends beyond corporate settings into personal relationships, Imagine a friend who repeatedly assures you of their unwavering support and loyalty, yet consistently fails to show up when you need them most. Such instances erode trust and strain the fabric of relationships, highlighting the stark contrast between verbal affirmations and tangible commitments. In navigating these situations, it becomes imperative to discern between mere rhetoric and genuine dedication. Actions serve as the true litmus test of sincerity and reliability. Individuals who habitually fall short on their promises reveal patterns of behavior that speak volumes about their priorities and values. It's akin to relying on someone to help build a house based on elaborate blueprints, only to find them perpetually absent from the construction site, a fundamental breach of trust. Critically, this discernment is not rooted in cynicism but in pragmatism. Trust, whether in professional collaborations or personal bonds, hinges on a harmonious alignment between words and deeds. When discrepancies persist, it signals a fundamental imbalance where appearances of support overshadow substantive contributions. This disparity challenges the foundation upon which trust is built, emphasizing the importance of consistency and accountability in interpersonal dynamics. Empowering oneself with this insight allows for informed decision-making regarding the individuals welcomed into one's inner circle. Time and emotional investments are invaluable resources, deserving of recipients who demonstrate unwavering integrity and reliability in their actions. This principle applies universally, from evaluating business partnerships to nurturing personal friendships, where mutual respect and reciprocity define enduring connections. In practical terms, statistics underscore the pervasive impact of unfulfilled promises in various contexts. Studies reveal that consumer trust in brands diminishes significantly following instances of failed product launches or misleading marketing campaigns. Similarly, Interpersonal relationships suffer when assurances of support are not backed by corresponding actions, leading to feelings of disappointment and disillusionment. By prioritizing authenticity and accountability over superficial assurances, individuals and organizations alike cultivate a culture of reliability and credibility. This ethos fosters environments where commitments are honored and mutual trust thrives reinforcing the intrinsic link between integrity and enduring success. Ultimately, the dichotomy between words and actions serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring value of reliability and consistency in all facets of life. By embracing a mindset that values deeds over declarations, individuals can navigate complexities with clarity and fortitude, forging alliances and bonds rooted in genuine respect and mutual benefit. 3. 
Unilateral Benefit Navigating relationships can often feel like walking a tightrope, where balance is key but sometimes elusive, especially when one finds oneself caught in the trap of unilateral benefit. Unilateral benefit can be likened to rowing a boat alone while others comfortably enjoy the ride, contributing nothing in return. Picture continually being the one who gives, whether it's emotional support, time, or resources, only to face silence or indifference when you are in need. It goes beyond mere generosity. It's a stark reminder of being undervalued and taken for granted. According to recent studies, such imbalances in relationships can lead to increased stress and feelings of dissatisfaction. Research conducted by psychology experts indicates that individuals who consistently find themselves in a giving position without receiving in kind often report higher levels of emotional exhaustion and lower self-esteem. This dynamic not only strains personal well-being but also erodes the foundation of trust and mutual respect that healthy relationships require. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of mutual respect and equilibrium in all interactions. It underscores that one's worth should not be contingent upon how much one gives or sacrifices. Recognizing and addressing these one-sided dynamics isn't merely an act of self-preservation but a crucial step toward maintaining dignity and emotional health. Setting boundaries becomes not an act of selfishness but an affirmation of self-worth and the value of reciprocal relationships. Engaging in open, honest conversations about expectations and contributions is essential. It's a chance to evaluate who truly values the relationship enough to adjust behaviors and commitments accordingly. Those who are unwilling to reciprocate may inadvertently create space for relationships that are more balanced and supportive. As quality trumps quantity in meaningful connections, it becomes evident that being treated as a valued person, rather than a convenient resource, is fundamental to genuine relationships. In the journey of life, everyone deserves a supportive team rather than being relegated to a one-person show. Studies show that individuals with a strong support network report higher levels of happiness and resilience in the face of challenges. Surrounding oneself with individuals who appreciate and reciprocate fosters personal growth and emotional fulfillment. Therefore, it's crucial not to settle for relationships that drain emotional resources, but to seek out connections that nurture and sustain mutual respect and reciprocity. Ultimately, understanding and addressing unilateral benefit in relationships isn't just about asserting one's needs. It's about fostering environments where both parties can thrive and grow together. By advocating for balanced relationships grounded in respect and reciprocity, individuals pave the way for deeper connections that enhance overall well-being and satisfaction. This shift isn't easy, but it is transformative, offering the opportunity to cultivate relationships that are not only supportive but also affirming of each person's intrinsic worth and dignity. The obstacle is the way. This proverb encapsulates a core tenet of Stoic philosophy, advocating not merely acceptance but active engagement with challenges and adversities. Stoicism teaches that obstacles, far from being mere impediments, present opportunities for growth, learning, and inner strength. Instead of avoiding or bemoaning obstacles, Stoics encourage confronting them directly transforming difficulties into stepping stones toward personal and spiritual development. In essence, it invites individuals to adopt a mindset that reframes difficulties as valuable experiences rather than setbacks. Stoics believe that every obstacle carries within it the potential for virtue and resilience. By embracing challenges rather than resisting them, one cultivates a mindset of equanimity and perseverance. This approach aligns with the Stoic belief that true happiness and fulfillment stem from internal qualities such as wisdom, courage, and self-control. Moreover, the proverb suggests viewing obstacles not as random disruptions, but as integral parts of the path to wisdom and excellence. By confronting difficulties with a Stoic mindset, 
one learns to harness adversity as a means of refining character and gaining deeper insights into oneself and the world. This transformative perspective empowers individuals to navigate life's inevitable challenges with grace and resilience, fostering a sense of agency and purpose in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, exemplifies this principle in his reflections found in meditations. He contemplates the trials and tribulations of life as opportunities for personal growth and moral development. His writings emphasize the importance of maintaining inner tranquility and steadfastness in the face of external challenges, echoing the stoic belief that one's response to adversity defines their character and integrity. Furthermore, the obstacle is the way resonates with modern cognitive behavioral therapies that emphasize the power of reframing negative experiences into opportunities for cognitive restructuring and emotional resilience. By adopting a stoic perspective, individuals can cultivate a proactive approach to adversity, viewing obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as pathways to self-improvement and spiritual enlightenment. In conclusion, the obstacle is the way, encapsulates timeless wisdom from stoic philosophy, urging individuals to embrace challenges as transformative opportunities rather than adversities to be avoided. By internalizing this proverb and applying its principles in daily life, one can cultivate resilience, wisdom, and inner peace, ultimately fostering a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose in navigating life's journey. 4. Disregard for your emotions or needs. Disregarding your emotions and needs within a relationship is a profound betrayal of trust and mutual respect often unfolding subtly before becoming painfully evident. It's akin to carrying an unseen weight that steadily burdens your emotional well-being, slowly eroding your sense of self-worth and dignity. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, which champions rationality, virtue, and the cultivation of inner strength, such disregard stands starkly opposed to the foundational principle of treating others with empathy and fairness. Picture expressing your deepest thoughts and vulnerabilities only to find them met with indifference or dismissal. It's as if your emotions are mere inconveniences, trivialities unworthy of acknowledgement. This isn't mere oversight but a deliberate act of invalidation, diminishing your voice and agency in the relationship. In stoic terms, this behavior represents a stark departure from the ideal of living in harmony with others through respect and understanding. Imagine navigating through conversations where your words seem to evaporate into thin air, unheard and unacknowledged. This pattern isn't accidental but a strategic effort to maintain control and dominance, undermining your autonomy and sense of worth. It's a portrayal of you as a supporting character in someone else's narrative, where your needs and feelings fade into insignificance against the backdrop of their priorities. This dynamic not only violates the principles of Stoicism, but also erodes the fundamental trust and reciprocity essential for healthy relationships. Stoic philosophy offers profound insights into navigating such challenges. Central to Stoicism is the belief in personal responsibility and the cultivation of inner resilience. When faced with emotional neglect, Stoic teachings encourage introspection and self-awareness as tools for reclaiming one's sense of dignity and self-worth. It's about listening to that quiet inner voice that whispers, this isn't right, and trusting it as a guide toward asserting your boundaries and values. Speaking up for yourself in the face of emotional neglect isn't about provoking conflict, but about asserting your inherent worth and dignity. Stoicism teaches that true strength lies in acknowledging and honoring your emotions while maintaining composure and clarity of thought. It's about advocating for yourself with assertiveness tempered by reason, striving to foster mutual understanding and respect in the relationship. If despite your efforts to communicate openly and honestly, your emotions continue to be disregarded, it may be necessary to reassess the dynamics of the relationship. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. 
Applying this wisdom in the context of relationships, it becomes clear that true fulfillment comes from nurturing connections where mutual respect and empathy flourish. Surrounding yourself with individuals who validate your emotions and respect your needs is essential for cultivating a healthy sense of self-worth and well-being. Healthy relationships thrive on reciprocity and mutual care, where both parties contribute to each other's emotional and psychological growth. Stoic principles underscore the importance of self-respect and resilience, guiding individuals toward recognizing when their dignity is compromised and advocating for their emotional needs. Ultimately, honoring oneself and nurturing inner strength are foundational in confronting emotional neglect. Stoic philosophy teaches that self-respect is fundamental to teaching others how to treat you. Sometimes, the most empowering decision one can make is to walk away from relationships that fail to honor their inherent worth and emotional needs. This act isn't an admission of defeat, but a testament to courage and commitment to living authentically. By choosing to walk away from relationships characterized by emotional neglect, individuals affirm their autonomy and create space for healthier, more nurturing connections. Stoicism offers a roadmap for navigating such transitions with grace and clarity, emphasizing the importance of living in alignment with one's values and principles. It's about embracing the wisdom of knowing when to let go and prioritizing one's emotional well-being and dignity above all else. 5. Emotional Manipulation Consider the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, a beacon of Stoic philosophy. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This profound insight serves as a guiding principle in navigating the intricate dynamics of emotional manipulation, which can manifest insidiously in various facets of life such as relationships, friendships, and workplaces. Unlike overt forms of coercion, emotional manipulation operates covertly, subtly eroding one's confidence and sense of self-worth. It's akin to a stealthy assailant disguised as a trusted friend or ally, employing a blend of praise and criticism to foster dependency and control. Imagine finding yourself in a situation where interactions that should uplift and inspire instead leave you feeling drained and uncertain. This gradual erosion of emotional well-being often begins imperceptibly, making it crucial to cultivate self-awareness. According to Stoic philosophy, this awareness is not just about recognizing external events, but more importantly, understanding our internal reactions and maintaining sovereignty over our thoughts and emotions. It's about trusting your instincts when something feels off and having the courage to confront manipulative behaviors that undermine your autonomy. To fortify yourself against emotional manipulation, it's essential to establish clear boundaries grounded in your values and principles. These boundaries aren't merely symbolic. They form the resilient walls of your mental fortress. By articulating and defending these boundaries, you assert your right to self-respect and dignity. This proactive stance aligns with the stoic virtue of self-control, emphasizing that our mental and emotional space is sacred and should be safeguarded from undue influence. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that genuine strength lies in our ability to govern our responses to external stimuli, including manipulative tactics designed to unsettle and destabilize. By recognizing manipulation tactics, whether through subtle guilt trips, gaslighting, or selective disclosure of information, you reclaim agency over your mental landscape. This empowerment isn't about confrontation for its own sake, but rather about nurturing relationships that are based on mutual respect and support, where growth and authenticity thrive. In essence, confronting emotional manipulation requires not only vigilance, but also the courage to assertively advocate for your well-being. It involves surrounding yourself with individuals who value transparency and honesty, where interactions foster mutual growth rather than dependency. By embodying stoic principles of resilience and self-awareness, you cultivate a mindset that prioritizes inner peace and clarity amidst external pressures. Remember, 
Your peace of mind is not a passive possession but a dynamic force that requires active nurturing and protection, an ongoing journey guided by the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Emotional manipulation often operates through subtle cues and behaviors that may seem innocuous at first glance but gradually undermine your confidence and autonomy. For instance, a manipulative individual might use compliments strategically to elevate themselves while subtly criticizing your choices or achievements, creating a sense of indebtedness or inadequacy. They may also employ tactics like playing the victim or using emotional blackmail to coerce compliance, exploiting empathy and goodwill for their own ends. These behaviors can be especially damaging in close relationships or professional settings where trust and cooperation are essential. Recognizing these patterns requires a keen awareness of your emotional responses and the dynamics at play. Stoic philosophy encourages introspection and mindfulness as tools for understanding and managing these interactions. It teaches that while you cannot control external events or others' behaviors, you retain the power to choose your responses and uphold your principles. This mindset empowers you to set boundaries firmly and assertively, communicating your values without fear of reprisal or manipulation. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of cultivating resilience and emotional fortitude in the face of adversity. It encourages you to view challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than sources of distress or defeat. This perspective shift can be particularly valuable when confronting emotional manipulation, as it helps you maintain perspective and avoid being drawn into manipulative dynamics. By focusing on personal growth and ethical behavior, you can cultivate relationships based on mutual respect and authenticity, where manipulation has no place. Navigating emotional manipulation requires a combination of self-awareness, boundary setting, and adherence to ethical principles. By drawing on the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, you equip yourself with the tools to recognize manipulation tactics, assert your autonomy, and cultivate relationships grounded in honesty and respect. Remember, your mental and emotional well-being are paramount. Protecting them requires vigilance, courage, and a commitment to personal integrity. Through these efforts, you honor not only yourself, but also the principles of Stoicism that advocate for inner strength and moral clarity in all aspects of life. 6. Lack of Genuine Support A cornerstone of every meaningful relationship is genuine support. Imagine it as having a personal cheerleader who stands by your side through every triumph and tribulation. When this support is absent, it feels like navigating a tightrope without a safety net. You take a step, hoping for a word of encouragement or a helping hand, only to be met with emptiness. This void is a glaring red flag, suggesting that you may be with someone who views you more as a convenience than as a partner in mutual growth. True support in a relationship goes beyond constant agreement or relentless cheerleading. It involves someone who values your dreams and aspirations as much as their own. Without this, your successes and struggles are reduced to background noise for them. They might appear to listen to your stories, but their minds are elsewhere. They are like shadows that disappear when the light fades. Relationships like these are emotionally exhausting, leaving you feeling isolated in your endeavors. Recognizing these patterns is crucial. When your moments of joy and sorrow are met with indifference or insincere words, it's time to reassess the depth and direction of the relationship. To thrive, it's essential to surround yourself with people who genuinely care about your well-being. This isn't about finding people who agree with you all the time, but those who challenge and uplift you, celebrating your victories and standing by you in defeat. Research underscores the importance of genuine support in relationships. Studies show that individuals with supportive partners are more likely to reach their personal and professional goals. According to the American Psychological Association, 71% of people in supportive relationships report higher life satisfaction and emotional well-being, compared to only 33% of those in unsupportive relationships. In today's world, where superficial connections are common, 
nurturing relationships based on mutual respect and genuine interest is not just refreshing, it's essential. These are the bonds that not only endure but also propel you forward, enriching your life with a sense of shared purpose and understanding. 7. Constant Competition When every interaction feels like a tally in a hidden game of give and take, you are confronted with the silent scoreboard, a subtle sign of being used. Unlike friendly competition, which fosters mutual growth and shared victories, this is a one-sided match where acts of kindness come with a silent invoice and favors are transactions in disguise. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, warns against such imbalances in relationships, emphasizing the value of genuine connections over calculated exchanges. In this silent scoring game, you're left feeling indebted, as if every gesture comes with strings attached, turning friendships into ledger entries. Understanding and setting boundaries is key to overcoming this. Recognize that your worth isn't measured by what you can offer in someone else's tally. Build relationships based on mutual respect and support. True stoic wisdom encourages us to value connections for their sincerity, not their utility. By doing so, you embrace the essence of stoicism, fostering relationships that enrich both your life and the lives of others, free from the burden of hidden scores. Studies highlight the detrimental impact of constant competition and scorekeeping in relationships. According to the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, individuals in competitive relationships experience 25% higher levels of stress and anxiety. The National Institute of Mental Health also reports that such dynamics significantly decrease self-esteem and overall life satisfaction. By recognizing and addressing these red flags, you pave the way for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Surround yourself with people who offer genuine support and engage in mutual respect. By doing so, you'll thrive in an environment of trust and authenticity, unburdened by hidden agendas and competition. 8. Absence in Critical Moments Fairweather friends are like shadows, present during your brightest days, but nowhere to be found in your darkest hours. This pattern of behavior is a telltale sign of being used. Picture this. You're surrounded by laughter and smiles when times are good, but as soon as the tide turns, their support vanishes like mist. This kind of relationship can be incredibly disheartening and leave you feeling abandoned during moments when you need support the most. These individuals view relationships as mere conveniences, stepping stones for their own gain. They are like actors playing their part when the script benefits them, but exiting stage left when the scene demands more than they're willing to give. Their absence in your moments of need isn't just disappointing. It's a loud statement of their true intentions. When you're facing a crisis or even just a tough day, the people who genuinely care will be there for you. Fairweather friends, however, will find excuses, making you feel abandoned when you need support the most. Stoicism teaches us to see people and situations as they truly are, not as we wish them to be. In the face of such behavior, a stoic approach isn't about bitterness. It's about clarity and self-respect. Reflect on these relationships with a clear, unclouded mind. Understand that genuine bonds are tested not in joy, but in adversity. When someone consistently disappears in your time of need, it's a sign to reassess their role in your life. Psychological studies back this up. Research published in the Journal of Social and Clinical Psychology indicates that reliable social support significantly reduces stress and increases well-being. When this support is absent during critical moments, it can lead to feelings of isolation and increased stress. For instance, a study from the National Institutes of Health found that individuals with strong social support networks have lower levels of anxiety and depression, as well as higher levels of overall well-being. Consider how this lack of support affects not just your emotional state, but also your physical health. Chronic stress from feeling unsupported can lead to a myriad of health issues, including high blood pressure, a weakened immune system, and increased risk of chronic diseases. 
It underscores the importance of having dependable friends and loved ones who can provide a sense of stability and comfort during turbulent times. Remember, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Instead, focus on building relationships with those who stand by you not only in the sunlight, but also in the storm. True friends are those who show up when it's inconvenient, when the skies are gray and the path is uncertain. They are the ones who offer a hand, a listening ear, or simply their presence, proving that their bond with you is genuine. Invest in relationships where mutual support is a given, not a rare occurrence, and you'll find a more solid foundation for your emotional and mental well-being. 9. Lack of Reciprocity Imagine you're in a relationship where you're always the one giving. Your time, your care, and even your Netflix password. Meanwhile, the other person seems to just take, rarely if ever pitching in. This is a classic case of lack of reciprocity, a red flag waving fiercely in the breeze of your interactions. Relationships should be a two-way street, where both parties invest equally in each other's happiness and well-being. Stoicism teaches us the value of balance and mutual respect in relationships. If you're constantly the one sending good morning texts, planning dates, or listening to their problems without ever receiving the same attention, it's time to pause and reflect. Is this relationship a two-way street, or does it feel more like a lonely one-way lane? This imbalance can leave you feeling exhausted and unappreciated as your efforts go unrecognized and unrewarded. To address this imbalance, first look inward. Stoicism isn't about changing others. It's about understanding and adjusting our responses. Ask yourself, am I enabling this imbalance by not communicating my needs? It's not about keeping score, but rather about ensuring a healthy mutual exchange. Speak up, express your feelings and needs. If the other person values the relationship, they'll make an effort to balance the scales. If they don't, it might be a sign to reevaluate the relationship. Studies support the importance of reciprocity in healthy relationships. According to research published in the Journal of Family Psychology, relationships characterized by mutual giving and receiving report higher satisfaction and longevity. When one partner consistently gives more than they receive, resentment can build leading to emotional exhaustion and relationship breakdown. The impact of a lack of reciprocity can extend beyond emotional fatigue. It can affect your self-esteem and overall sense of self-worth. Continually giving without receiving can lead you to question your value and importance in the relationship. This dynamic can create a power imbalance where one person feels dominant and the other feels subservient, further straining the relationship. To counter this, it is important to establish clear communication and set boundaries. Discussing your needs and expectations with your partner or friend can help address the imbalance. It's essential to foster an environment where both parties feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment or rejection. Additionally, consider the broader implications of reciprocity. In professional settings, for example, an imbalance can lead to burnout and decreased job satisfaction. Colleagues who continuously take credit for your work or rely on you without offering support in return can create a toxic work environment. Ensuring that professional relationships are also built on mutual respect and reciprocity can contribute to a healthier and more productive workplace. Remember, as a stoic sage of the modern world, your peace and well-being are paramount. In a relationship, both parties should feel valued and heard, not just one. If you find yourself in a pattern of giving without receiving, it's essential to reassess the dynamic. Healthy relationships are about mutual respect and support, where both individuals contribute to each other's growth and happiness. By fostering balanced and reciprocal relationships, you create a more fulfilling and supportive network around you. This ensures that you're surrounded by people who not only appreciate what you offer, but also are willing to give back, creating a harmonious and enriching connection. Embrace the stoic principles of balance and mutual respect to build relationships that enhance your life and well-being, 
ensuring that you are not only giving but also receiving the support and care you deserve. 10. Betrayal In the intricate tapestry of human relationships, betrayal is a silent storm that brews beneath the surface, often unnoticed until it strikes with devastating force. Like an insidious vine, it entwines itself around the pillars of trust, gradually squeezing the life out of them. One might wonder, how do I spot this creeping threat? Awareness is your first line of defense. Pay close attention to the balance of give and take in your interactions. Is there a consistent pattern where you're always giving while they are always taking? This is akin to an emotional tug of war, leaving you drained and unfulfilled. Addressing betrayal is not just about identifying the issue. It requires taking decisive action. Stoicism teaches us the power of perception and reaction. You have control over how you perceive and react to these situations. If betrayal lurks within your relationships, confront it with the calmness of a seasoned Stoic. Engage in open dialogue, but also set firm boundaries. It's not merely about pointing fingers. It's about understanding the dynamics and deciding your path forward. Will you repair the crack or build anew? The choice is yours, but make it wisely. Your emotional well-being is paramount, and you have the strength to choose a path that aligns with your values and self-respect. Reflect on the intentions and actions of those around you. Often, the first step towards healing is recognizing the existence of a problem. By fostering open communication and maintaining an honest evaluation of your relationships, you can navigate the treacherous waters of betrayal with resilience and clarity. Remember, while trust can be rebuilt, it requires effort from all parties involved. Make sure that the foundation of trust is solid and mutual before you decide to move forward. 11. Selective Availability A subtle yet powerful tool of manipulation often hides behind the guise of a busy life. Enter Selective Availability. Imagine you're the go-to person, always on standby, ready to jump in whenever they call. Your presence is constant, like a lighthouse in the dark. But flip the scene, and there's a stark difference. Their availability is like catching a glimpse of a shooting star, rare and on their terms. It's not about clashing schedules. It's a choice, a tactic. They keep you at arm's length, controlling the tides of the relationship. You find yourself in a dance where the steps are always set by them. Your messages float in the digital void, and your calls echo unanswered. When they do reach out, it's often to serve their own agenda, reducing you to a mere convenience in their story. This imbalance chips away at your self-worth, sowing seeds of doubt. Are you valued? Do your efforts matter? Here's where stoicism steps in offering a lens to reassess and reclaim your power. Stoicism teaches the art of perception, urging you to see situations for what they truly are, stripping away the emotional fog. It's about recognizing your value independent of others' recognition. Remind yourself that your worth isn't tethered to their whims. Embrace the stoic practice of self-reflection. Reflect on the relationship's dynamics, not with bitterness, but with clarity. Consider the reasons behind selective availability. It often stems from a place of control and manipulation. When someone limits their availability to you, they are asserting dominance, dictating the terms of your interactions. This control mechanism can lead to a one-sided relationship where your needs and desires are constantly put on hold. It's essential to reclaim your power in such situations by setting clear boundaries and communicating your expectations. Understand that a healthy relationship thrives on mutual respect and effort. If the other party is unwilling to meet you halfway, it might be time to reconsider their role in your life. Your time and energy are valuable, and you deserve relationships that recognize and honor that value. 12. Making you feel guilty. When it comes to being used, guilt is a master manipulator's favorite tool. It's a sneaky trick making you feel like you're always owing someone. They might say things like, after all I've done for you, or I thought you cared about me, 
turning every favor into a debt you never asked for. This tactic plays on your good nature, making you feel bad for even thinking of saying no. But here's the thing. You don't owe anyone your time or energy just because they expect it. It's not selfish to put your needs first. It's necessary. The art of saying no is crucial here. It's about respecting yourself enough to set boundaries. Remember, your kindness is not a currency to be spent on others' demands. Stoicism teaches us about not letting others control our emotions. When someone uses guilt to sway you, they're trying to take the steering wheel of your feelings. Don't let them. Take a step back and ask yourself, am I doing this because I want to? Or because I feel I have to? Stoics believe in acting according to reason, not pressure. It's all about being true to yourself. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Trust your gut. You have the power to choose how you react. And sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is say no. It's not just about avoiding being used. It's about living a life that's genuinely yours. When someone leverages guilt against you, they are attempting to manipulate your emotions and actions. This tactic exploits your empathy and desire to please, creating a cycle where you continually sacrifice your well-being for their satisfaction. It's important to recognize that true kindness and generosity come from a place of willingness, not obligation. By setting boundaries and asserting your right to say no, you are prioritizing your mental and emotional health. This does not make you selfish. It makes you self-aware and respectful of your limits. Cultivating a stoic mindset can help you detach from manipulative guilt trips and maintain a clear perspective on what you are genuinely willing to give. Remember, a healthy relationship should be based on mutual respect and understanding, not on guilt and coercion. 13. Lack of personal interest. If you often feel like you're playing tennis against a wall in conversations, you might be in the grip of a one-sided relationship. Your words serve as a mere backdrop to the other person's solo performance, akin to pouring your thoughts and feelings into a bottomless pit, expecting an echo, only to be met with silence. This isn't just about being heard, it's about being acknowledged. A true conversation is a dance of words, a give and take that enriches both participants. When you find yourself repeatedly sidelined in discussions, it's a glaring red flag. It's not just poor communication. It's a sign you're being used as a sounding board rather than being valued as a partner in dialogue. Stoicism teaches us the importance of mutual respect and empathy in relationships. If you're consistently ignored, it's time to question the value and health of the connection. Your voice deserves a platform, not a void. Counteracting this imbalance isn't about shouting louder. It's about discerning where your voice is valued. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, and in this scenario, it's the choice of whom we engage with. If your words fall on deaf ears, it may be time to redirect your conversation to those who genuinely listen. This isn't giving up. It's choosing to invest your emotional energy wisely. It's a form of self-respect to seek out relationships where your thoughts and feelings are not just heard but cherished. Your experiences and emotions are not secondary plot lines in someone else's story. They are the essence of your unique narrative. Choose to share them where they're not just heard but echoed back with the same intensity and interest. Beyond simply being heard, it's about having your perspectives appreciated and engaged with. The essence of meaningful interaction lies in the mutual exchange of ideas and emotions. When one person dominates the conversation, it undermines the collaborative spirit essential to any healthy relationship. Recognize that your voice matters and deserves to be part of a balanced dialogue. If the current dynamic leaves you feeling undervalued, it's crucial to reassess your engagement. Find those who not only listen but also respond thoughtfully creating a dialogue where both parties feel enriched. This change may require courage, but it's a step towards nurturing relationships that affirm your worth. 14. Unilateral Conversations Have you ever found yourself in a chat where it feels like you're just a pair of ears, 
there to soak up someone else's saga? That's a unilateral conversation. A sneaky trap in the game of social exchanges. Picture this. You're all ears for their tales, nodding along, offering that supportive aha. Uh -huh. But the moment you chip in with your bit, there's a sudden shift. They tune out, fidget, or worse, hijack the chat back to their favorite subject, themselves. It's like playing tennis with someone who won't let you serve. Frustrating, right? If this sounds all too familiar, it's time for a reality check. Stoicism isn't about enduring silently. It's about recognizing your worth and asserting it with quiet confidence. In these one-way conversations, you're more than just a backdrop to someone else's monologue. You're a person with your own rich tapestry of stories and insights. The next time you find yourself sidelined in a conversation, gently steer it back to a fair exchange. If they dodge, it's a clear sign they're more interested in an audience than a conversation. Always bear in mind that in the art of dialogue, your voice is not an echo but a melody that deserves to be heard. Stand firm in your value, and don't shy away from seeking the balance that every meaningful interaction demands. Consider how often you find yourself in these one-sided exchanges. Are they a rare occurrence, or do they happen frequently with specific individuals? If it's a recurring pattern, it might indicate a deeper issue within the relationship. True connection thrives on mutual respect and reciprocity. When these elements are missing, the relationship becomes draining rather than enriching. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to seek out environments that nurture our well-being. This might mean limiting interactions with those who consistently monopolize conversations and seeking out people who value a balanced exchange. Remember, meaningful dialogues are built on mutual interest and respect, where both voices are valued and heard. 15. Superficial Closeness Navigating through the maze of modern relationships, one subtle yet pervasive pitfall is superficial closeness. It's like a mirage of intimacy where actions and words create an illusion of connection but lack the substance of true emotional depth. This is the kind of relationship where plans are frequently made and just as often discarded, where promises are as flimsy as autumn leaves. This pattern isn't just a hiccup in communication, it's a deliberate strategy. The person maintains just enough proximity to benefit from your presence without truly investing themselves. It's a convenience-based interaction where you might feel more like a utility in their life rather than a valued individual. Recognizing this pattern is more than just a moment of realization. It's a call to reassess the dynamics of your relationships. Does the balance of emotional investment tip heavily in their favor? Are you feeling the weight of unreciprocated efforts? It's crucial to see these signs not as a reflection of your worth, but as a signal to pivot towards relationships that honor mutual respect and genuine connection. Stoicism teaches us about the value of authenticity and living a life true to our principles. In doing so, we must be courageous in stepping away from those who treat relationships as mere conveniences. Instead, we should seek connections that are rooted in sincerity, where mutual growth and support are the foundations. It's in these authentic interactions that we find not just companionship, but a shared journey towards personal and collective growth. Superficial closeness can often leave you feeling used and unappreciated. It's essential to identify the core motivations behind these relationships. Are they driven by genuine interest and care? or are they maintained out of convenience and self-interest? Reflecting on these questions can provide clarity and guide you towards more meaningful connections. Authentic relationships require effort, vulnerability, and mutual investment. When these elements are present, the bond transcends mere convenience, fostering a deeper sense of trust and understanding. By aligning yourself with people who value you for who you are, rather than what you can provide, you cultivate a support system that enhances your emotional well-being and personal growth. In conclusion, 
transforming yourself from a passive recipient of disrespect to a self-assured advocate for your worth is an empowering journey that requires more than simply acknowledging the problem. It demands decisive action. Are you constantly on eggshells during conversations, fearing your words will be twisted or ignored? This is a glaring sign that a shift is essential. True stoicism isn't about silently enduring hardship with a stiff upper lip. It's about wisely discerning what elements of a situation lie within your control. You cannot change how others behave, but you can absolutely control your response to their actions. Assert your feelings with both calmness and firmness. If someone is perpetually late, don't just sigh in resignation. Express how their tardiness makes you feel undervalued. Are your opinions constantly disregarded? Don't shrink back. Speak up for yourself. This isn't about igniting conflicts. It's about demanding the dignity you deserve. Remember, your feelings are valid. Your opinions hold weight. You matter. This transformation isn't just about achieving a fragile peace in your relationships. It's about ensuring your voice is heard and respected with the sincerity it warrants. A true Stoic isn't a pushover. A true Stoic is someone who possesses a deep understanding of their inherent worth and resolutely insists on being treated with the respect they deserve. By taking action and asserting yourself, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. You deserve healthy relationships that foster mutual respect and understanding. Remember, you are not just worthy of respect you are capable of demanding it. So take a deep breath, find your voice, and embark on this transformative journey with unwavering confidence.